It's the most wonderful time of the year. The magic is in the air. Cold weather, bright lights, cheerful music, good food, booze, family time, surprises, and a chance to do absolutely nothing or everything. Christmas time reminds us of what's most important in life and teaches us to believe in what we cannot. The season sends optimism, joy, and kindness in our hearts. This is our 12 days of Christmas. So we just got out of work. We had a long day today on a last minute photo shoot. And we decided to do our first day of Christmas shopping for our families tonight. And we have no idea what we're gonna get. Maybe we should just get them something simple this year. Yeah, every single year we tend to stress out. And maybe let's not make it about that this year. And just get into the holiday spirit. At least we get to be with our families this year. So I'm just thinking we're gonna get everybody shirts. Shirts never fail. Never fail. I mean, it's better than ugly Christmas sweaters. We just don't like ug. We just don't like ugly Christmas sweaters at all. No. But I mean, I feel like we get everybody the same things every year, unless we get everybody Chanel. Just kidding. We don't have Chanel money. We're not gonna get everybody Chanel. That's not gonna happen. Um. But I think this will have to do. I like the colors. I would wear it. Mm -hmm, I think too. your brothers would wear it. Yeah. So wait. So we're. Shopping for the boys right now first, and yeah, getting that out of the way. So, all right, sold. So the last time we were here, we were talking to you guys about relationship challenges. It's totally a different vibe. Yes, it is. We're actually in the holiday spirit, and knock on wood, we haven't argued yet. All right, so we finally finished shopping for the boys, and we are really hungry. More like starving. Yeah, so we're gonna try and figure out what to eat right now. Um, and there's a lot of options, so. We'll see how it goes. So Quinn is taking me to this Israeli place. I've never tried it, he's tried it. So let's see how good it is. You, you, you always do that devious smile like you're up to no good. Maybe. What mischief are you plotting for the holidays, huh? I just want to eat. Let's dig in. How's the roasted cauliflower? Mm-hmm. What do you think? It's good. What about the rotisserie broken chicken? Mm. How about the wild mushroom? Hmm. shopping for all the women and the girls in our family and we just have no idea what we're doing when we shop for our moms and stuff we don't really yeah. think i mean usually it's fragrances but with outfits it's a little more harder so i don't know fragrance clothes gift cards not sure we're a bit stuck all right how about this coat what do you think? This coat looks really nice. I don't know. No, no. How about this one? It's pleated. Oh, so bad at this. And you would think we work in fashion and we know what we're doing. But I guess everyone has different tastes. Yeah, I'm we... so tired. We haven't slept. We're overworked. Mm -hmm. we're, we're really bad at shopping for women. Yeah, 
and we'll always end up in like the hard edge looking section and try to get them like high fashion -y stuff but in reality nobody really wants to wear those things so I don't know we're debating between fragrance or or clothing fragrance or clothing fragrance maybe fragrance Maybe this Christmas Your love is gonna come my way Maybe this Christmas So we finally got most of our holiday shopping out of the way So we're pretty happy about that And now we're taking a little bit of time to give ourselves some self-care Yeah, we were looking a little rough We finally got our haircut, so we feel a little better We're on our way to Soho to buy some winter wear Christmas, you'll be next to me Alright, so we're at Bloomingdale's and we're deciding what jacket to get. And we are so undecisive. Like always. Yeah. I'm in love with this. He always likes the more hard edge stuff. The biker stuff. I like more of the comfortable, chill, relaxed stuff. When we were younger, we used to be so bougie. Yeah. And now that's changed. I guess there's no luck here. Everything is a little bit too expensive and we get bored really fast, so. But I do like that Sandro coat back there. Yeah, that one. Yeah. Usually All Saints, Sandro, Brag and Bone are our thing, but it's not about us. It's the holidays, so. All right, um, maybe let's go grab something to eat. I'm starving. Me too. All right, let's go. It's freezing out here. Yes, it's really cold. You know, we thought that Soho would be more festive. It looks so dead. No lights. Yes, no. it is. Christmas spirit is dead here. Yeah, kind of looks like, you know, it kind of looks like a zombie apocalypse happened here. So we finally made it to Chelsea Market now, and we are going to grab some tacos that we've been dying to try for a while. So hopefully it tastes real good. Yeah, we're starving. Yeah, I'm starving. We've been doing a lot of shopping and we haven't really eaten all day, so this is much well deserved. The best tacos, quesadillas, and paracha. Mmm, mm. it's good. What would you rate that? I would say a 10. Definitely a 10 out of 10. Yes. That was really good. The first flavor we're trying is pumpkin pie. That's good. The next flavor we're going to try is chai me to the moon. I don't know what I'm tasting exactly. Yeah, me either. Um, the next one is apple cider. Mmm, this one is good. This one's really good. Mm -hmm. The fourth flavor we got is purple pig. Mm. I'm gonna go with that purple pig. The purple pig and the, the apple best. cider. Yeah. So we are on our way to our meeting. We're meeting in Miss Silas. Yeah, and I almost stuck on shit. Warming up with matcha latte and avocado toast. Sorry guys, strictly confidential. So we finished our meeting, it went well. And now we're craving hot apple cider. So we found a spot. Maybe right? some cider donuts. We're excited about that. So we finally got our hot apple cider and it is really busy here today. So we're at the Columbus Circle holiday market and it's our first time ever experiencing this this is usually not our scene because it's a little too um busy but it's something different that we're trying out and we're also in search of the best hot chocolate in NYC they're filming I'm getting anxiety I think we should head yeah, out I agree I mean, we were here for maybe 15 minutes and 
I think that's all that we can handle. It's yeah. really crowded. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's cool stuff. There's like good food, nice things they're selling, but it's not our scene. Mm -mm. We tried. Nope. This is totally off of our schedule, but we decided to shop for more clothes. We ended up buying more unnecessary stuff that we didn't need. Like always. So, off to our next location. This was totally not planned. So we're still in the search of really good hot chocolate. Um, our top three places were extremely busy. So now we're trying to find something that's more underrated. Hopefully we find that today. It's really cold and it would be nice right about now. Can't snoop around my parents' closet For the only gift I have on my wish list this year so we finally found a hot chocolate spot after walking up and down Manhattan all day in the cold, freezing our butts off. And we ended up at Magnolia Bakery. Cheers. Cheers. Delicious. It's good. How's the banana pudding? 10 out of 10. Last time we were here, we were talking about inner self challenges, and it's totally a different vibe. Yeah, more jolly. More jolly. We finished having hot chocolate. That was really good. Our top two places were Dominique and Cell and Serendipity, but both places weren't available. That's crazy. Yeah, so this was still pretty good. Yeah. On my Christmas list is you. Feeling a little under the weather today. We woke up with a sore throat and cough. We're going to the doctors in a few. Rest when we get back. And maybe binge watch our way to recovery. There's really not much we can do right now. Off a snow and red light blooms. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle. It took us over seven days to recover, and we needed some air, and we decided to come out and check out all the holiday windows. And maybe watch the Saxon Fifth Avenue light show. light show and the holiday windows were awesome but it started to get a little too crowded and too busy for us too too busy so we had to get out of there in case you're wondering Benji's been hiding out from the cold one of our favorite things about the holidays is putting up our Christmas tree. It brings our hearts the warmest feeling of peace, love, and joy. And of course, some Puerto Rican coquito.
on our way to dinner now, and we are going on a holiday. So we're pretty excited about that. Last Christmas, we were in a cabin in the Catskills, and this year, we're going to have dinner inside one, the cabin in New York City. For drinks, we're having the Dirty Snowman Eggnog. We celebrate our partnership, respect, and trust. We share our bread and wine. For dinner, we're having Alaskan Salmon Filet and Jam and Bacon Cheeseburger. How is it? It's really good. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Let's go to the back. There's something I want to show you. Look up. A mistletoe. Let's finish our drinks. I love everything about this place. A 10 out of 10. very nostalgic. There was times when we weren't able to do anything. We've been blessed this year to be able to do the vlogs and still have a career. And most important of all, we have each other. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. So today we also came here to pray for our families and to have a happy and healthy holiday. We pass on a legacy in faith as we honor our Savior. Keep an open heart. Turn away from sins believe and submit our lives. All things are eternal. We often forget the reason why we celebrate Christmas. Sometimes we just have to remind ourselves. Christmas is almost here. Can't wait to see the entire family. Me too. You never told me what you wanted for Christmas. I have everything I need. You and Benji. How about you? Me too. How about you, Benji? It's not only just about Santa Claus, the presents, or the busyness of the holidays. The true meaning of Christmas is the gift of salvation. And most important of all, peace, love, and joy. Happy holidays, everyone. Until next time. Sing it